right now on Two Conk Sport Fishing TV. Captain Jack and the crew are celebrating a very special individual that Southern Florida remembers well, Jose Wahebi. You know, just a testament of what kind of person my dad was. Through his daughter Chrissy and the Jose Wahebi Memorial Foundation, many individuals have had their fishing dreams come true. Got him on the go, sir. Okay, Dale, we need that mutton. This year, at the 2020 Fish for Jose event and auction, Jack's putting up a day of fishing with the Two Conks crew as a prize. It's what you get when you fish with Two Conks. Hold them close to the camera, guys. Makes it look bigger. In an effort to pass along the Spanish fly spirit that Jose was so well known for. All right, there we go. My name is Captain Jack Carlson. This is my tackle shop. And this is my fleet of yellow fins that make up two conch sport fishing charters here in Marathon, Florida Keys. I work here with my sons Austin, Tucker, and JC, along with my whole crew of top-notch captains. Dude, this is real deal, son. Let's this is real deal. Woohoo! Got him! My wife even has her own store right down the street. And one thing I've learned after doing this for 23 years is you never know what's gonna happen next. Bionic, I love it. This segment was brought to you by Bionic Bay. Take one out and butterfly it, put it down on the bottom. Try to get a mutton or something. Target species. Bionic Bay, consistent quality for 30 years. <laughs> Captain Jack and the guys meet up at the Square Grouper Bar and Grill in Cujo Key, Florida ready and eager to kick things off for the Fish for Jose event. Jose Wahebi was a hugely influential person to the Southern Florida fishing scene. His passion for fishing was easily seen on his TV show, Spanish Fly. Tragically, however, Jose passed away in 2012, and the Jose Wahebi Memorial Foundation was born. Thanks again, Chrissy, for having us here. We're at the uh, Square Grouper, right above it, my new joint, awesome spot. This place is amazing. Your father was amazing. I can't thank you enough for having us here. Your dad's a legend down here. I was a guy down here for my whole life. I've looked up to your father. You know, it's awesome watching him on TV. Visited Marathon a lot. I've heard a lot of stories and I got to meet him occasionally. And let me tell you what, he's a blessing. You're a blessing. And what you do for the foundation is an absolute blessing. I appreciate that, Jack. You know, we wouldn't be able to to do stuff like this if it wasn't for individuals like you. And, you know, just a testament of what kind of person my dad was to be able to have everybody to come together and still want to help. There's not many people out there that can continue to change lives after they're gone. And he was definitely one of them. We had no relationship before my father. And, I mean, you stepped up in more ways than one. And I really appreciate it. Oh, anytime. Thank you. The best captains, the best vessels, two pumps. Right on, brother. The man. Our EC Rider Custom Marine Bean Bag. Four two seven one five The air is full of laughs, good food and drinks, and camaraderie. Just how Jose would have wanted it. And that next morning, it was time to head to Jose's house to check out the auction. Hi. Jack Carlson, um, two conks? Two the table says two conks right on it. Okay, okay. Awesome. thank you. That's nice. Oh, it wouldn't have been up to stuff. Yeah. We are at the 2020 Spanish Fly Memorial Foundation. 
And uh, we got stone crab, we got Key West pinks, we got some yellowfin tuna, we got some smoked fish tip. So all this seafood, you donated it, right? Yeah, so I came in, I brought in like 80 pounds of stone crab and 80 pounds of Key West pink shrimp. And I flew in a nice big old yellowfin tuna loin, so we do tuna poke over there. Awesome. Um, it's fresh right off the boats. Welcome to Florida. I'll Here we you. are. Daddy got to got to eat. That's let's right. Eat, let's start it. This segment's brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine, go boldly. The auction is a great success. Jack had actually put up a deluxe package that included two nights at the beautiful Isla Bella Beach Resort, as well as a full day of fishing. The lucky winners, Dale Emmerich and his son Jared, donated just under $5,000 that goes straight to the foundation. The two are pumped for a day out on the water tomorrow. And as the evening starts to come to an end, Chrissy closes things out with a speech. Jack Carlson from Two Ponds has stepped up in more ways than one. This is his second year as a sponsor to this event, but it doesn't stop there. He has donated trips for Wesley House Kids and featured the foundation on his TV show with another one to be shot soon. FYI, on our online silent auction, you can bid on a trip with Jack, stay at Isla Bella, and be on his TV show. At this moment in time, I am grateful for every single one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Chrissy would have it. It's a bright and sunny day in Marathon, Florida, and the two conks crew is ready for a day out on the water with the auction winners, Dale and his son, Jared. So you guys are in good hands today. Right. You know, we'll, we'll head on out there. We'll go do some wreck fishing. There's been good mutton snappers, permit, African pompano, grouper, all that good stuff. You guys ready for it? I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, we're loaded up with pilchards. We need to pull the traps. Let's go. We're the high bidders for the Chrissy Wahebe Jose Memorial Foundation auction and we're lucky to fish with Jack on two conks today. Okay, and uh, Jared, what are you excited about for today? Go catch some muttons, man. So how, <laughs> how, how, have you fished with Jack before? I have not fished with Jack before, so this is a great experience, uh, looking forward to it. You guys like fishing for the most? You know, we like doing it all. You know, we're, we're well rounded, so we can either go offshore, reef red, golf flats. We have all the boats to do it. Uh, but, you know, bottom fishing is definitely one of my passions. Make a couple jumps, see if we get some muttons, groupers, maybe African pompano, <laughs> amberjack, a little bit of everything we'll get. Now here we use long leaders. These muttons can be a little shy, so we have the lead over here, and then we'll have anywhere from a 15 to 20, 25 foot leader. Alrighty guys, it looks like we have a lot of amberjack right up here from 100 and 90 feet down to 230 feet. I can see the wreck right down here in 250. Okay, guys, drop them. Well, you know, uh, we used to always watch Jose on the Spanish Fly TV show, and then when we moved down here eight years ago, we were fortunate enough to meet uh, Chrissy. We never really got to meet Jose before he passed away. Yeah, you know, it's always good to be back out on the water with my dad. You know, we used to do it as a kid, fishing all the time. Now that I'm a little bit older, you know, getting back out on the water with my dad, it's a, it's a real pleasure. Is that a bite? Go, reel, reel, reel. Real, 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 real. Wind on it, wind on it, wind on it, wind on it. There you go, Dale, now you're talking, that's us. That's a mean one there, Dale. Look at him dig, look at him dig. Don't know what we got here. It could be anything, groupers, muttons. It's just like pond fishing, right? That's it. <laughs> Putting that Connolly to the test. Here you see your dad catch a lot of fish growing up? Yeah, it did. It looked just like this. Although, <laughs> I think you usually have them in the boat by now. <laughs> Dale, they're all talking about you, but you're the only one left hooked up. 
We had a triple header. They're all, you know, blaming the old man for taking so long, but they aren't fighting fish anymore. You know what they're doing? They're retying rigs. Got another 100 feet to go. Huh? Out here on these wrecks, you never know what you're gonna get. Amberjack, African pompano, groupers, muttons. Amberjack. It's like a 40 pound AJ. Hey. He didn't like you very much. That right there is a monster AJ right there. Pick him up. I want to get some good picks. But... Sweet, huh? Nice fish. That's what you get when you fish with two conks. That's it, man. Sure. Good fish, good fish. He was a nice uh, pulling fish. He wanted to go home. He did not like daylight. But uh, give me like a nice four a footer. One either, like a 10 pounder. Yeah. 45 pounds, maybe. 12 pounds, Let's go, JC. 50 pounds. Okay, we put the sequelizer on there and a 12-pound lead. We're gonna take him down to 200 feet so it safely releases this fish. This way here, he's not floating on the surface. When you bring him up from a long fight, they'll get an air embolism, their bladder will blow, and it brings them up, which makes them very hard to get down there. So the sequelizer will solve that problem for you. All righty, guys, we're gonna bring it on in. It should be released. Go. All right, go ahead and grab it. Good job, good job. All right, fish safely released. Closed captioning is brought to you by Furuno Marine Electronics. We got that Furuno radar on. I think they're marking birds already. This is what you're looking for right here. They're busting, they're busting, they're coming in, they're coming in. That's got to be the biggest black fin you've ever got. Furuno Marine Electronics, demand the best. Two Cock Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Gills, performance fishing gear and apparel. Furuno Marine Electronics, demand the best. And Yellowfin, build your legacy. This segment's brought to you by Yellowfin. We got a fleet of yellow fans. The coolest thing about owning the boat is the camaraderie that this group brings. Two cops! Yellow fin. Build your legacy. Captain Jack and the two conks crew are out bottom fishing with the auction winners from the Fish for Jose auction. And the guys are hitting the AJs hard today. There he is. Yeah. There he is. Hooked up. There he is. Johnny. Got him on the jig. Oh man, look at that thing go. Got him on the go, sir. He's putting that Connolly to the test. Look at that bend. Oh my God. <laughs> Gotta lift with your legs. Okay, we got color. Well guys, being out here, spending this time with you guys and these guys catching fish for the Jose Wahabi Foundation, I couldn't think of a better way to do it. You know, the Jose Wahabi Foundation does a lot for the community both in the Keys and outside of the Keys. Chrissy and all the board members do a hell of a job there. One of the best shows I've ever watched and uh, you know, just a great guy. So it's a pleasure here to do it with you boys. Yes, sir. Always fun. Always fun. Hey, 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 Good one. All right, let's let go. All right. Nice All right, Cade, you can let it go. There you go. He's on. Feel a little lighter? He's a little lighter. He's not pulling as hard. All right, good. So now, what'd you think of that? The dinner there at the at Jose's house. I thought they did an excellent job. The good food, they isn't did it? An excellent job. South of Seven catered. The dinner was awesome. Uh, Chrissy, Chrissy does a uh, stand-up job. Uh, the entertainment was great. Silent auction, obviously. The silent auction was good. Absolutely, man. Thank you for your support. Uh, it was awesome to be able to fish with you. A legend you in go. the Keys. Awesome. Man. Anytime. Right on. Anytime. How about those stone crabs? Awesome. Good yeah. stuff, isn't it? Good. Seafood down here Seafood. in the Keys. Fresh. Right off Couldn't the ask for a better evening. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, it was. Right on. Well, I think that fish is coming in. I see color. Well, at least they're getting smaller. 
Is that a good thing or bad? <laughs> it's a good thing after you caught a few of these. Well, we caught some more amberjack. No muttons on this spot. I'm marking them, but they just aren't cooperating. We're gonna go hit another spot and see what we can find. Okay, you guys ready back there? All right, go ahead and drop. There you go. Dale's got him. There he is. All right, got him. We got the rock. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Oh <laughs> Keep it off the boat. Keep it off the boat. It's a rockfish. Rockfish. There he goes. <laughs> Queen Ruiz. When I say we're going bottom fishing, I don't mean to take it literally. No. No. That's all right. Three more of those, we can complete my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> After switching spots one more time, Jack sees mutton on the Furuna. Now it's game time. We're 290 feet from the spot and I'm marking a good mutton right here on my Furuno. That's gonna be a mutton. I got this side zoomed in. It's 235 uh, feet down, which means you know it's only you know 20 or so feet off the bottom. So by seeing that mutton up high like that, about 30 feet off the bottom, that mutton is up here looking down on the bottom. So the higher you get the more stuff you can see on the bottom and then that fish will go down to attack its prey. Kind of just like us in a tree stand when we're hunting. Little mutt. A little oh, baby mutt. Oh, look at that, it is a mutt. Target species. Okay, here you go, right, right here, right here. Target species. It's like a dinner. Is he big enough, guys? Yeah, it'll be big enough. Look at that. Hold them close to the camera, guys. Makes it look bigger. <laughs> My Tom. Yeah, let's bring it in. Another mutton. A little guy. Where there's little ones, there'll be bigger ones. There he oh. is. Got him. Got him. Doubled up. Doubled up. There you go. All right. Father and son doubled up. Oh, what happened? Pulled. All right, Dale, it's up to you again. Everything leads back to Dale. Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Probably another jumbo four pound mutton. Look at that. The mutton man. <laughs> The mini mutton man. This segment is brought to you by Gills. Let me tell you what, if you haven't got your gills on yet, you gotta get it. Two Gills, performance fishing gear and apparel. After noticing a good color change, Jack switches things up and tries to get on some tailing sailfish. There you go, he sees you, he sees you. Two of them, two of them. And stop, stop, stop! Get it up, get it out. Oh my God, get up. Get it up, up JC! All right, all right, here he is, he's coming up. Is it? Okay, bring him up. No, but I'm gonna go back over here. 
That one was after you, JC, but you're... You started feeling out and I thought he ate it. Yeah, beat him more. So after bottom fishing, we decided to come in. We had a really good color change. I figured it'd be good tailing conditions. We saw a couple sailfish tailing and picked out a couple baits. He ate, but then spit. JC thought he had him hooked up, reeling it in. The fish came coming in on the bait, just didn't get him. But we got to see two sailfish up close and personal. Always a great, great thing to see. After that exciting encounter, the day out in the water comes to an end. And Jack has Jose to thank for sending those two sailfish his way. Well, Dale, had an amazing day with you. Appreciate your support there with the Jose Wahabi Foundation. That amberjack you caught was a monster. That was fun. You got the mutton snapper. We released a couple others. We released all the amberjacks. And Jose was a big condoner of just releasing all the fish. You know, so brings back a lot of memories watching that and letting those fish go. Just catch and release and have fun, enjoy the fight. It was great. Watching his show very early, every Sunday morning. That's awesome. Well, I was up in the tower there, and and at the end, at, like at the end of the day, I said, you know, like let's check out this color change. And I was up there and I said, Jose, send me a sailfish. Send and, you two. And he did. He send did. you two. Within five minutes, we had those sailfish up. We didn't get any hooks in them, but they came right next to the boat. They showed themselves. They and and we and we got to sight and release. Sight and release. Sight and release. So we got the sight, see the fish, and we let them go mentally. That's correct. We didn't want to hurt the hook. That's right, Long exactly. Long that, yep, yep, that's it. But anyhow, appreciate Thank everything. You. Great day. Thank you. And I can't wait to fish you again. We'll do it again. Yeah.